Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today I wanted to take you along with me to Home Goods so we can check out everything that's new in stores together. I know there's going to be a ton of Halloween and fall decor right now, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. I don't know if you are, but I just want to enjoy the rest of summer, enjoy the rest of August, soak it all in, and then we can explore all of the fall and Halloween decor. I just finished up my patio makeover, so I've been really honed in on summer outdoor pieces, and I wanted to wander through home goods so that we could check out all of the indoor decor, new furniture coming out. I love just going through there and seeing what What's new. It's definitely a hit or miss type of store though. So I'm going to show you guys what I gravitate towards, what I recommend you shopping for at Home Goods, and what to stay away from. I hope coming along shopping with me today gives you some ideas on what you should look for next time you're shopping at Home Goods. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And let's go ahead and head to Home Goods. Just as I suspected, the entire front of the store is filled with Halloween and fall decor. So there's a lot to go through here. I really wanna decorate for fall, but we will get into that maybe in a month or so. For now, let's check out the rest of the store. Now is the time that all of the small desks and little desk chairs start coming out at Home Goods. There's a lot of variety right now. I specifically love this black desk. The angled legs, the solid wood top, it's just really designer looking and it looks very high end. It's just $2.79 and all of the pieces that say made in India, I just seem to gravitate towards them. I think they are beautifully made and this is a really chic look. They also have desks like this, a very similar look. You'll notice the substantial weight of it just makes it look a little bit more high end compared to say a desk like this. The skinnier legs, the faux marble top just give off a little bit more of a cheaper look. So if you're looking for a desk, I would suggest something that's a little bit more chic, substantial, heavier in weight that can look like a great furniture piece in your home. The first thing I do when I get to Home Goods is walk around the entire store to scope out all the big furniture pieces. And right now it's accent chair season. They have so much selection. These, re these rattan accent chairs are gorgeous from every angle. So they're perfect for an open concept home, giving off that kind of coastal Hamptons look. I also love a good barrel chair. And I think if you can find barrel chairs at Home Goods, you might as well pick them up. You can get them that day. These ones give off that modern but also traditional look. They're really comfortable and actually really well made. These pink chairs are cute. The pink is actually a nice subtle pink. I think it's really pretty. And the crushed velvet is very trendy. I love the shape of them. It's curved, but it's also a club chair. It's a swivel chair as well. So it's kind of an all-in-one piece. They're really deep and these are perfect for a bedroom or an open concept living space again. That swivel is so key to designing a functional space sometimes. Being able to swivel a chair in different directions just really helps in invite conversation. Okay, I love that Home Goods is bringing in large scale pieces now. These chairs are massive. They can really fit two people on each chair. They're kind of an in-between between a chair and a love seat. They're gorgeous, they're black boucle, and they are such a statement piece. I spotted these dining chairs all around the store today and they are extremely on sale. They went from $129.99 to $89 each. Such a good deal for a woven chair like this. The structure of it is gorgeous. Something that would be beautiful paired with a black wood table. And if you have warm accents around your home, these would just totally bring your space together. I think they're gorgeous for any kind of breakfast nook or casual kitchen dine-in space. They also have these chairs, which I can tell from afar they're going to be pricier. They're genuine leather, but the shape of them, super designer. They're not totally my style. I would actually opt for the woven chairs. Now these dining chairs are completely a designer dupe. They look just like the Serena and Lily Carson chair that retails for almost $700 each. These chairs at Home Goods are $129. So if you're looking for that designer look, you can definitely find them here at Home Goods at a very budget friendly price. 
I also noticed that there are a lot of bookcases here, different shelving units, and they're all very decorative. So if you're looking for some height in your space and you wanna add something decorative and functional, a little bookcase like this would be perfect. You can style it with decor, style it with books or toys. I love this youthful arch. It's such an on-trend look right now and the materials are gorgeous. It really just adds a ton of warmth and texture. I even really love this piece. I love the green and the cane webbing together. It's such a gorgeous look. A little bit modern, a little bit retro. It's kind of a cool mix between it all. These are always cute styled in bedrooms or even in little corners of your home with a side chair, a lamp, a plant, and it just creates a gorgeous vignette. So bookcases are always a perfect piece to add to your home if you're looking to just add a little bit more detail. I'm pretty sure every room makeover I do, I look for small accent finishing pieces here at Home Goods. They have great little stools like this that can add a ton of texture and interest in a space. They look perfect in front of a fireplace or around a coffee table to add additional seating. Acrylic pieces like this are great too for small spaces because they don't look like they're taking up a lot of room. They even have little pieces that allow for storage. And my favorite are the little drink tables here. They look fancy and dainty and elegant. And I think they're such a great finishing touch to any living room. So don't think that you need to bring in a large side table to finish off your sofa or side chairs. You can bring in a little table like this and it will add the functionality, but also create a light, airy, stylish look. Ooh, I think these plaid stools would be such a great addition into a home that has a very light, airy color palette. The dusty blue top is super subtle, but it's just enough color to add some interest. And the wood legs are just so muted and perfect. I love these stools. Again, perfect to place around a coffee table or finish off a fireplace. Just having two stools placed in front just adds this really decorative look, but also a ton of functionality. I always seem to gravitate towards this bench. I really love the classic pattern and the muted colors. You'll notice a difference between this bench and this green bench here. I feel like the saturation and bright colors gives off more of a cheap look and these muted color palettes and traditional leg style just look so much more elevated. So when you're at home goods, look for those little details to create more of an elevated high-end look in your home. Now onto the rug section. If you can find a good rug at Home Goods, again, I think you should take it. They're always marked down in price, and if you can take a rug home that day, you're winning. I think this Ralph Lauren rug is stunning. It's muted, but it still has pattern and color in it, and it's just not too much. It's really soft, and for a 9 by 12 rug, this is such a good price. So if you're looking for a traditional look, they have this in different sizes here. I think it's so stunning for a dining room, living room, or even a bedroom. Again, I do gravitate towards these muted color palettes. When you flip to the next rug, it has a lot more saturation and color in it, and I just prefer this soft, silvery, muted look. I also really love a lot of these natural woven rugs. These are durable, they add a ton of texture and warmth in your home, and they're just really easy to mix in with different styles. It's such a good mix of a cotton and a jute rug. Okay, now this rug is stunning. It's super soft. It has such a dainty, subtle pattern in it. And the color is this really pretty coral pinky peach color. So I think it'd be perfect if you have a lot of terracotta, whites and creams in your home. It seems like the perfect rug for a bedroom with that kind of color palette. Now, just wandering into the cookware section, I'm noticing they have so many decorative and beautiful cast iron pots. I love that they're now carrying a lot of Cuisinart and they have beautiful color selections. I love this white pot with the gold knob. That is just so perfect for the white and gold kitchen aesthetic. It's something that you could keep out on your stove and it's just gonna look like a decorative piece. So I love kitchen pieces like this that can be beautiful and functional all at the same time. And there's so much selection here. So you can find the color palette and the perfect piece for your home. Thank you. 
I always walk up and down the wall decor section because it is totally hit or miss. You could find the perfect piece for your home in here, which sometimes I do, or you could leave with nothing. I normally stay away from these matching sets, the small little prints, the stuff that's a little bit graphic and bright like this, and a lot of their acrylic art that's super shiny. I don't really love seeing a big reflection in my art because it's harder to look at. I usually gravitate towards their textural art pieces here. They're usually a little bit more pricey, but they just give off such a unique look. This is such a cool art piece. A lot of these woven art pieces are perfect for adding texture in a space that's looking a little bit flat and boring, and they're super neutral, so they're usually easy to integrate into a space. But then there's these really funky art pieces. These are pretty much carpets that are mounted to these frames and they give off an extremely retro look but they're also pretty modern there's something kind of contemporary about them i don't know if they would work for my home but i think they're really fun in the right space If you're looking for a mirror for your home, maybe it's for your entryway, bathroom, or bedroom, I recommend checking out Home Goods. I always find mirrors here. It's usually the first place I come look, come to look if I'm looking for a mirror. This large circle mirror is so incredibly large. It's amazing. It's $250 and I think it's worth $500. It's huge. So if you have a large wall, a big home that can really use a large piece, this would be incredible. Now, a really fun section at Home Goods is the decorative accessory section. They have almost every style of little decorative piece to add to surfaces and bookshelves around your home. So every time I'm styling a space, I wander through this section. It's always categorized by style and color, so it's really easy to find everything. This section has a lot of stuff that I would skip over, but then there's some hidden gems in here. I find a lot of great woven pieces in here. I love these long baskets. They're perfect for a long dining table or entry way table. You can style books and candles and decorative elements all on the basket and it just helps create a really tidy decorative and thoughtful look. These two busts on this shelf really stood out to me. There's a female and a male. They have a made in Italy tag on them so they are usually more expensive. You can even tell by the weight of these things. If they're heavy they're usually pricier but I love the male and female. I think it'd be really pretty in a bedroom just to kind of layer into your decor. It just gives off a regal vintage look to your space. You never know what you're gonna find here at Home Goods, but this is a designer find. This Lillian August floor lamp actually retails for $885, but at Home Goods it's here for $100. So it's such a good steal if you're looking for that designer look in your home. I like a little bit more of that traditional look, and the Ralph Lauren lamps are always very traditional. I love the tapered lampshade. I love that you can just plug them in and see what they look like all lit up. I always recommend looking for lamps with white lampshades so that they can really give off as much light as possible. Table lamps like this just scream designer to me. They're all about the shape and the finish. They're dynamic, they look sculptural, whether they're turned on or turned off. This would be such a gorgeous piece in a home that's a little bit more transitional in that modern traditional look. Now, when it comes to throw pillow shopping at Home Goods, I usually stay away from the loud prints and head more towards these neutral, muted pillows. They're easy to kind of throw into your existing decor and they just add some texture. They also just look a little bit more expensive than maybe the pillows that have a ton of pattern going on. Since these throw pillows already come fully filled, 
I recommend staying a little bit more neutral so you can keep these long term. And for pillows that you want to add texture and pattern onto, I would shop the pillow covers individually. That way, whenever you're sick of that pattern or you're changing it up a little bit, you can just take the cover off instead of replacing an entire pillow. And lastly, I want to touch on all of the fun kids pieces that they have in here. They have fun kids furniture all over this store and it's the cutest thing ever. Everything looks really mature and designer, but it's just tiny in scale. It's so cute. So if you're planning on doing any kids bedroom or maybe a nursery makeover, maybe a play space, they have the perfect finds in here. These little bistro chairs are one of my favorite things in here. The color, the little pattern on the seat, they're super cute and they're very muted. So you're not gonna get that bright, crazy color in your home. You can actually kind of mix them into your space. They have a ton of rattan furniture as well. So if you're going for that boho look in your space, this is totally perfect. They have little organizing units, little bookshelves and drawers, tiny chairs. They really have everything. So check out the kids section. I'm finding so many good pieces right now. All right, so that's it for today's shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and I hope this gave you some ideas on what you can look for next time you're at Home Goods. I actually didn't end up buying anything today. I just really wanted to wander the store and check everything out. I didn't have anything in mind that I was looking for, so sometimes I just like going in there for fun and scoping out all the new pieces. Next time we go to Home Goods together, we can check out all the new fall decor. I really like making my home cozy and seasonal for fall. It's one of my favorite seasons, but right now, we're gonna soak in the rest of summer. Anyways, let me know down below in the comments what your favorite piece from today's video was. What's something that you're gonna look for next time you're at Home Goods? And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!